All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to recap um, another Big 12 game here on this show, and I'm here to recap number 20 Texas Tech beating number 11 uh, Oklahoma, 85-84 reaction. What a hell of a game this was! Another Big 12 battle. This Big 12 man is just insane. Like it's a bloodbath in this conference. But a terrible week though for Oklahoma, losing losing at home to unranked uh, Texas by 15. And to lose a heartbreaker here, again at home, 85-84 to Texas Tech. Definitely a tough uh, loss. But the player of the game really was Chance McMillan. 27 points, 8 rebounds. He was excellent uh, in this game against uh, Oklahoma. He was by far the player of the game. And Texas Tech goes into Norman and knocks off Oklahoma. Chance McMillan with a career 27, with a career high 27 points off the bench. He's not even a starter. 27 off the bench. And the Red Raiders stay atop uh, of the Big 12 and have won 11 of their last 12 games. Only loss since them was November. The only loss since November was at Houston. Grant McSallon has it rolling over there with Texas Tech. I low key think they can beat Houston. If they play again, when they play again, I think they do. Texas Tech can beat Houston. Texas Tech, I think, is the second best team in the conference right now behind Houston. But that's a big gut punch, man. Texas Tech ra rallied deep from a nine-point second-half deficit just to edge uh, North Car or, uh, Oklahoma by one. And they're five-one now in the Big Twelve. It's kind of a grinded-out game. Wouldn't expect anything else from less from the Big Twelve. Just a gut punch, gut punch though for Oklahoma. This, the team just likes talent, mistakes, unforced, just makes mistake after mistake, unforced turnovers for Oklahoma, and just can't get out of their own way. Back-to-back -back home losses. They just, I don't know, this team might get to like 20 wins, but I don't think, I never thought Oklahoma was that good, even when they started off undefeated, I'm like, they haven't played anybody, and then when they played North Carolina, they've got destroyed, and when they've gone to Big 12 play here, they played some good teams, they just haven't played well. Zero ability or desire to get a stop the last like four to five minutes. It was either a layup line basically or wide open threes every time Texas Tech got down the floor. You, they just don't have that guy. They haven't since they had they got had a Trey Young. They just haven't had that guy. And Porter doesn't use that last time out to dry up options for a tie deuce or game winning look at three is mind mind blowing. I don't know why they didn't call a timeout there. Some missed free throws as well. Just, you gotta make free throws in critical time. Maybe you just gotta stop. Maybe you just gotta people gotta stop pretending they're a good team. Just horrible slot select, shot selection by using on there at the end. Plenty of time on the clock. Get your feet set a good look. Also, 60% from the line. Pretty bad. It's unacceptable for a major college basketball program. And then McCollum, dude, they have. What's his name? I don't know. I forgot what his fucking name is. He isn't. He's kind of falling off. He had to start the season, but he's falling off. Uh, for, we'll go over the winning the winning team stats. Uh, Texas Tech proves 16 and 3. Their leading scorer was Chance McMillan, 27 points, 8 rebounds off the bench. Um, Darion Williams, 7 points, 5 assists, 11 rebounds. While he didn't score a lot, he impacted the game with his rebounding and his um, playmaking. Um, Warren Washington, 10 points, 2 assists, 7 rebounds. Joe Toussaint, 14 points, 6 assists. Uh, Robert Isaac, Richard Isaacs, Pop Isaacs, eight, 18 points, 4 assists, 3 rebounds. Carmen Walton, 7 points. So which, what a hell of a game from Texas Tech, especially from their um, from their bench. Especially with um, Chance McMillan. And OU shot 48% from the field, over 40% from three, out rebounded them, and only turned the ball for three times the second half at home. And somehow, some way, Texas Tech somehow won this basketball game. I don't know how the hell they won this game. Because they got outshot, or they didn't get outshot, but for the threes, uh, 11 of 26, 42%, and they were only 9 of 23, but they were getting to the paint at wheel, making their free throws when Oklahoma wasn't making them. Got out rebounded, gave up a lot of offensive rebounds, a lot of second chance opportunities. But the toughest tougher team wins and they just 
We're playing more tougher. Huge, huge congrats to them for battling so tough on the road. Because they were down by like nine points in the second half and they rallied back to win it. The offense really turned up for Texas Tech when they really needed it most. And they should be in the top 15 at least in the rankings. Maybe even top 10, possibly. But really, Chance McMillan was their player of the game. And then you got four other players in double digits. From Oklahoma, their leading score was um, Rivaldo Soares. Um, 19 points, 4 assists, 10 rebounds, had a double-double. Um, Yuzon, 13 points, 5 assists. Um, Sam Godwin, 13 points, 8 rebounds. Uh, Jalon Moore, 7 points. Uh, J JVM McColl McCollum, 7 points, 3 assists. Uh, Hughley, the 4th. Or Harry, what the fuck that initial, or that fucking Roman number is. Uh, he had 8 points. I don't know with this Oklahoma team. They had they had a nine point lead and they just let it slip away in that second half. Texas Tech's probably the most, one of the most underrated teams in the country. I could definitely see them making a far run in the tournament this year. Just a bad loss though for Oklahoma at home. I shouldn't say bad loss. It's probably it's a frustrating loss because you really need this game at home after you lost to Texas. It's hard. It's just hard to win when you don't play at home this year, especially in the Big 12. But they can't seem to guard the guys who shoot the ball and just miss free throws. But you got to take a timeout after that missed free throw. That's pretty unacceptable. And the refs kind of tried to help them. They got to just make their free throws and not turn the ball over. They done a good job in the second half not turning the ball over, but... But then it translates. They don't make their free throws. But I, just don't, I never bombed out to the Oklahoma hype, even when they were undefeated. So, yeah, but good win for Texas State. Credit for them to rally back in the second half. So that's all I'm saying. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.